Hello, Cawthon Cards community, and welcome to this week's Kaldheim pricing update as of February 15th, 2021. Uh, these prices are the pricing data used from Scryfall. So this week, the basic set of Kaldheim stayed about the same. It increased 37 cents. That's pretty stable if you ask me. Uh, that is cards number one through wherever the snow-covered basic lands end. Um, when you get into the alternate art versions, the showcase and the full art and all the special versions... Uh, they come after that. Those were 330 last week and 352 this week. So that was a nice little increase there. And then the theme deck cards, or theme, uh, not theme deck, the theme booster cards that you're supposedly only allowed to get in a theme booster were $15 last week. And they dropped to 1452 this week. Not that big of a drop. Uh, this does not include the buy box realm walker or the cards in the promo packs. Um, overall, the set increased in value 20 bucks. So I'd say that's a uh, Pretty good start. Maybe things are starting to level out. Let's take a look at the individual cards this week. Um, just like last week, the Vorinclex is still the most highly sought after card in the set, closely followed by Valky slash Tibalt. Um, I have this sorted by the dollar amount um, for the pricing for today. Uh, there were some winners and losers this week. The Valky uh, full art version the full art planeswalker version was the biggest dollar increase at three dollars and 72 cents um closely followed by goldspan dragon at 357 vorinclex alternate art at 351 um and then after that we had the vorinclex phyrexian version up 286 and the vorinclex regular pack art version up 232 as far as percentage movers, the biggest uh, card going up this week was Doomscar. That's up 66% or $2.04 over last week. Um, Coma Cosmos Serpent was the second biggest percentage increase at almost 28%, followed by Hengegate slash Mistgate Pathway up 27%. And then the Goldspan Dragon alternate or full art is up 20.3%. We also had a few cards over $5 moved down this week. Uh, the biggest percentage-wise was the or Orvar, the All Form, uh, followed by Eradicator Valkyrie. This went down 7 and 6%, 7 and 6% respectively. Valky God of Lies, the alternate art showcase version, went down 4.5%. Dollar-wise, none of these are huge. Uh, the Valky showcase form went down $1.37. The other two were down less than $0.50 cents each. Um, we also had some cards move down um, in up and down that were less than five dollars. Um, some of the biggest movers up were Youthful Valkyrie, that theme deck card that's up fifty percent and up a dollar twenty three. Hengegate and Mistgate Pathways up thirty three percent or seventy eight cents. Uh, Dream Devourers up eighty seven percent or dollar twenty four. We have Toski, Bear of Secrets, up 45% or $0.74. Um, Rise of the Dreadmarns up 107% or $1.16. And then we also have Faceless Havens up 53% or $0.42. Uh, this keeps on going right on down the line, but we start getting into smaller dollar amounts. Um, as far as the dollar amount losers, under $5. Um, Burning Rune Demon went down. 30% down $1.20. Resplendent Marshall went down 42% or $1.71. And uh, Cosmos Elixir, not that big money, went down 36% or $0.59. Cents. Overall, the set's pretty stable. Um, there's been some movement, some cards going up and down, but nothing too shocking yet. I will update you again next week on the pricing movements in Kaldheim and see if they continue to stay the same overall and if there are any new big winners or losers as more cards are figured out in decks. If you enjoyed this video, definitely appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button down below, and you can always subscribe more to get more pricing updates and pack opening videos on Cawthorn Cards.